Hi guys, it's me Leona. I just want to do a daily word with you guys, but I wanted to share something with you guys. I'll tell you after. We're going to just say a quick prayer, okay? So God will bless our time together. Father God, I just praise you and glorify you. and Thank you for sending your son to die for our sins, so our sins would be forgiven. We love you and praise you, Father. We ask you to bless this time together, Father. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Anyway, I pray you guys are doing good. I pray everybody's okay and staying out of trouble. And um, just praying to God and talking to him all the time because he's the only one who's going to really see you through this day and every day. It's, it's your choice. So anyway, let's get into the word. I'm going to read my thoughts, though, and then we'll go into the word, okay? I wrote this in 2016. Um, I've been a Christian since 2000, I mean since 2000, since 1998. Anyway, I don't know why I said 2000. I I think, you know, the older I get, the more I'm forgetting. Anyway, I, and I know some people understand where I'm coming from. Anyway, we're going to go into my thoughts. These were from 2016. And my thoughts, well... What first comes to my mind is the Lord is my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who died for my sins. Wow, a loving Father who loves me. Jesus is my everyday, He's in my everyday thoughts. His word is a lamp unto my feet, a light unto my path. His very breath is in all of us, and his presence surrounds us, and he protects us and is waiting every day for us to love him, even half as much as he loves us. Nothing in this world is mine to keep, because I am not of this world. That does not mean I am any better than anyone. And God's wor word, it says, we all fall short of his glory. We're all sinners, which means to me, we're all sinners. And the only good that we have inside of us is what God put inside of us. Every day, look around you. Look at the beauty that God has around. Even though you've looked at it before, if you look at it, you might see something new because His beauty changes all the time. My sad thoughts, though, go through my mind. Like, Lord, will I ever get better? Or am I waiting for my better days when I get home? To, uh, will I have to wait till I get to my real home in heaven with my real dad? That is one of my biggest thoughts. Me, Leona. I get to walk on the streets of gold, but mostly I get to hug my Lord and Savior so tight he's going to have to pry me loose. I'm going to say, Ah, but Father, or maybe I won't even be able to speak at all. So my thoughts for today is God. He's so good. He gave me life again. Church is one of my favorite places. I pray that when the Lord takes me home, I'm in church. But where, wherever I will be, I will be with him. But while I am here on this earth, I will be filled with joy because I know who holds my future in the palm of his hands. So why worry about tomorrow? When tomorrow, you do not know if we're even going to be here. And God already has that covered. And it'll worry about itself, right? So... Sad thing, though, is we're never satisfied. We crave what we do not have because the world says we should have it. We look a certain way. Maybe you're skinny. You want to be have a little weight. Your hair's curly. You want it straight. Your hair's long. You want it short. I mean, you know, we're never satisfied. Uh, you're too short. You're too short. So you want to be taller. The list goes on and on. It go on forever. You get married. When are you gonna have kids? When are you gonna buy a house? But you have, should have a house before you have a kid but I'm just saying you know it's a never ending guys it never ends so that's why you can't listen to the world so let's see it says right and I said too that um we have to accept our lot in life that's what the Lord tells us in his word to accept our lot in life you know Jesus did. He, he walked for us. He died for us. He went through a lot for us. So whatever we have to go through, we have to go through it because we know where our eternal home is. So God made all of us different. Imagine if we all looked alike. 
But his purpose, I believe, is that we would all love each other. That is one of the biggest challenges in this life, is to love those who hurt you or persecute you or say bad things about you or shun you, you know. But you know what? God says to love everybody because God is love. So why do we fight against you, Lord? You give your commands. Not one of us can follow your commands. Our flesh is weak. We say, bring it on, Satan. God is my rock. And as soon as storm hits, we either run and hide or we don't want to face it. We don't want to face that storm. So we go backwards instead of forward. My thought is we lose trust. But why? God, God promises he will never leave us nor forsake us. What little faith we have. He says if we have faith the size of a mustard seed, we can move mountains. What faith we have. He died to free us. And let's see here my notes. Let's see. He died to free us. And not because he lacked faith. He died to free us so that we could be free. Jesus wanted us to be free from worrying and 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 to trust him that you know he's forgiven us of our sins. We lock ourselves in our own prison. We remind ourselves of all those sins. Or we don't it's saying that reminds us. He'll bring somebody in to remind you of that sin. People just do that and, and that's how the world is. But God doesn't. Once he forgives you, he forgives you. Okay? So the end of times is coming. Will you speak up for Jesus? Well, my thought is, if you can't speak up for him now, more likely you won't speak up for him then because this world's getting tougher to live in. So it says in, I'm going to go to um, 2 Corinthians 5, 11. It says, it is because we know this solemn fear of the Lord that we work so hard to persuade others. God knows we are sincere. And I hope you know this too. We are trying, are we trying to pat ourselves on the back? No, we're giving you a reason to be proud of us so you can answer those who brag about having a spectacular ministry rather than having a sincere heart before God. It seems that we are crazy. We are crazy. It is to bring glory to God. And if we are in our right minds, it is for your benefit. Whatever we do, it is because Christ's love controls us. Since we believe that Christ died for everyone, we should also believe that we all have died to the old life we used to live. He died for everyone so that those who receive his new life will no longer live to please themselves. Instead, they will live to please Christ who died and was raised for them. So we've stopped evaluating others. How we stopped evaluating others? By what the world thinks of them. Once I mistakenly thought of Christ that way, as though it were merely a human, he was merely a human being. How differently I think about him now. What this means is that those who become Christians become new persons. They no longer are the same anymore. For the old life is gone and a new, a new life has begun. All this newness of life is from God, who brought us back to himself through what Christ did. And God has given us the task of reconciling people to him. For God was in Christ, reconciling the world to himself, no longer counting people's sins against them. This is the wonderful message he has given to us to tell others. We are Christ's ambassadors, and God is using us to speak to you. We urge you, as though Christ himself were pleading with you, be reconciled to God. For God made, made Christ, who never sinned, to be an offering for our sin, so that we could be made right with God through Christ. So guys, you know what? No matter what anybody tells you, know that Jesus loves you. And he's still waiting for you if you haven't went to him yet. Anyway, and he's a good God. It's not a boring life. And it's a wonderful life when you have Jesus in your life. Because he always takes care of us. And that's what we want. Right? All right, guys. Well, God bless you. And I hope you enjoyed the study or the daily word, whatever you want to call it. All right? 
God bless you all. Keep me in my prayers. Keep me in yours, okay? Remember, keep up the faith.